Distributing armor in Naraka by finders keepers is not the best system to maximize the survivability of your team. In this video, I will explain which champions should get the highest tier of armor available. This question has been discussed by a lot of Naraka teams since launch. As far as I'm aware, there are four schools of thought. And the first says that characters without a combo breaking ability should get the best armor. The intuition is that combo breaking abilities are like a get out of jail free card that can prevent a lot of damage, so champions who do not have that should get extra protection from higher grade armor. I mark these champions in green. Whether Tarka, Yoto or Justina have a combo breaker depends on the player's pick. Justina is in her own category because she has access to an F1 that cannot combo break but regenerate armor instead. So there is little reason to give Justina the best armor in the team. The second school of thought says that Transformers should get the best armor. The reason is that around the time when Jueishan got added to the game, an update introduced a change that makes Tianhai's and Jueishan's HP and transformation scale with the armor they are wearing. Both Transformers can be very vulnerable to certain melee attacks, such as from Longsword, Greatsword or Spear. On top of that, Tianhai is a big target that, unlike Jueishan, takes a lot of damage from ranged weapons as well. The third school of thought says that support characters should get the best armor. The idea is that support characters are equipped with tools to heal, escape or counter control, thus ensuring the survival of the team or part of the team. This is not something you want to lose, so you try to protect it with the highest grade armor possible. Kurumi, Wu Chen, Matari and Ziping can be considered dedicated support characters in trios. However, the boundaries between frontline and support are sometimes blurry. Depending on your team's comp, one of these support champions may take a more offensive role, or one of the other champions may take a support role. The fourth school of thought says that frontline players should get the best armor. If you defend this model, you'd argue that frontline players are fighting the most, so they take the most damage and they need the best armor. You'd argue that support players shouldn't be fighting much to begin with, but rather focus on shooting and healing and start kiting or dodging whenever they are getting attacked. So how do you reconcile these conflicting ideas? A generally accepted answer is that Tianhai and Viper should have the absolute armor priority. Tianhai in weak armor dies way too fast to ranged attacks, certain melee attacks or an enemy Tianhai. Viper needs to play offensively to hit her silence ability and she does not have a combo breaker or any other tool to escape or heal herself. Both champions need the best available armor to do their jobs. For all other champions, you should discuss the armor priorities with your team. For example, Ryomen said that their Kurumi plays very safe and is good at surviving chaotic fights, while their Jueishan plays quite aggressively, so they prioritize his armor. Other teams might feel a lot safer with their Kurumi protected by additional armor, since it is nearly impossible to recover as a Transformer team when your Kurumi is dead. Our party made a rule that we always give the best armor to Tianhai and Viper, otherwise it's finders keepers. Except when someone other than Tianhai or Viper wants to offer their better armor to exchange it with a teammate, we allow that. We just have one special exception. When we find group heal and advanced heal, we give the best armor to our support. The reason is that they can only group heal armor while their armor is damaged. Lower grade armor refills too fast, which means the entire team would get less group heals consecutively. It is possible that we will come up with a more fine-tuned armor priority system in the future. This would probably be specific to our team and playstyle. Until then, we handle it as described. If this video was helpful to you, please leave a like and some comment juice for the YouTube algorithm. Please keep in mind that future updates to the game or new observations might change the way you should prioritize armor, so watch out for that. And in doubt, you can just ask.